Welcome back and congratulations for successfully creating our first project in Kobo Toolbox. Before we start editing our form, let me just show you what we are going to do up to the very end of these lessons. So we have this and after finishing all the lessons, you will be required to submit a project. Today we are going to work on grouping questions. Next, it will be skip project questions, roster questions, etc. So let's start. Just click on your project name and we are going to say this page. On this, we have four tabs. We have summary tab, form tab, data tab, and settings tab. But because we have not yet deployed and corrected data, I'm not going to explain all the features of these tabs. For example, if you have corrected data on summary tab, you should be able to see two things. On this, it will be quick clicks, which we're seeing here, and down below, there should be another panel called data and you are going to have options there such as download etc. So let's just go straight to editing the form. To edit a form, click on edit form under the summary tab or go to the form tab and click on the edit icon. So first of all, let's remove the question which we have. Now click on add and on this one you are just going to put an introduction. For example, my name is and here you put a bit description of what you are doing. Once you are done, click on add and select note. This one allows you to display some information on the screen but it does not allow any input. So I'm not going to correct the data for this one. That's why you can use this as an introduction or any important information which you want to be displayed on the screen to the enumerator, but not suitable for correcting data. So now let's start adding the equations. Click on add. But before we continue, let me just show you what we're going to do on this. We have these questions. We have A1 up to A5 under section A and we have B1 up to B2 under section B. So on A1, we have GPS. So put A1 and put collect GPS. Click on add. GPS allows you to collect data in three methods. The first one is called your point, which captures a single GPS coordinate and this one is represented by point here. The next one is your trace. And this one captures two or more coordinate points. And here is presented by line. And the last one is your shape, which captures an area by marking a crossed shape with a GPS coordinate. So for this, let's just use your point. And we can make this question mandatory. If you are going to make some references, you can choose to put a simple variable name. So for example, let me just put a1 like this. And the next question is for name. And this is just a free text response and we can also choose to make it mandatory and we can also choose to change the variable name here. You can use a tool or you can use whatever you want, there's no problem. And the next we have for sex or gender and this should be select one. And here I'm going to put male. And if you are going to analyze the data in a spaces or stata, you have to use some codes. So for this one, I'm going to put one on automatic here. This is for male and for female, let's just put two. So these codes, they are very important. You can also make this question mandatory and change the variable name. Then we have A4 and A4 is marital status. 
which is also a single response so can be single and you can add the codes there can be married if you want to add another response just click on this then put the option okay once you are done you can click on this to grab the answers Ready to add another question and they say should be date of birth so click on add if you want to correct date only you have to use date but for both date and time you have to use this and if you want to correct date of birth the suitable option is date let's add more questions and these questions are for section b and the question is on average how many meals do you consume per day remember here to add the codes for example whenever we can do this we can put one this one can be two can be three this one can be four and this one can be five that's it okay let's save and preview it so you have an introduction here which you have used or in which you have used a not and you have gps coordinates on this you can simply click where everywhere on this map and you are going to see the coordinates being selected for example i click here you can see that we have them here but when you are correcting using a mobile phone you will just have a button once you click there it's going to generate the coordinates for the area where you are and we have full name etc but one thing here you have to take note of is that these questions they are from different sections and here they are just continuing from a5 to b1 so we need to group these questions into the appropriate sections for easily following what we are doing. So to do that, you just have to click on the icon on this. So click on the icon or the question which you want to group and press and hold the control key on your keyboard. Then move to the next question and click on the icon as well. So you can see that the selected questions they are being highlighted with a blue border. So select all the questions you want to put in a single group. Once you are done, click on this icon. So you have successfully grouped the questions. Now you have to name the group. For this one, I'm going to name as section A and I put participants information and I can click here to collapse so I'm also going to group these two questions and I'm going to name it section B dietary habits so let's save and preview it now you can see that we have sections. If I collapse this, I also have another section here. So we have section A and section B. So after doing this, there are more things that you can do with the sections or with the groupings that you have just created. If you see here, we have this. You can add a question in the section just by clicking on this arrow on this symbol or else just by expanding the section and go down you are going to see a small press like this one but if you want to add another question outside the section you have to click on this big press icon so sometimes it also happens that you have grouped some questions into long sections so you can remove that you can simply click on the question which you want and drag it out of the section. So you can see now 
if we do this, this question is outside. And we can also take this question back to it. Just by expanding, then drag it to the space or to the area where I want to put it, like that. So that's what you can do. You can remove questions from the sections or you can also add some more questions in the section. And if you want to expand or like and group all the questions, you can just click on this icon, do it icon. Once you click there, you are going to see these options. You have ungroup questions or delete everything. So you just have to click on ungroup questions. It means that you are going to ungroup all the questions that you grouped them. That's all about grouping questions.